As time has passed, the inventions and innovations of the 80s no longer seem that cutting edge or sleek. They almost feel extinct. From phone books as heavy as bricks to being able to rent a movie from Blockbuster, the 80s offered a variety of items and services that we don't see very much of today. In this video, we'll tell you about 10 things from the 80s that hardly exist today. Some of these things are missed, while others we can thank technology and other services for replacing. Can you think of some other things that were part of everyday life in the 80s that are hardly used or mentioned today? Number one, phone books. Ah, the nostalgia of flipping through those massive 300-page phone books. A relic from a time when our doorstep was the hub of essential information. From finding local businesses to reconnecting with old friends or orchestrating the perfect prank call, those thick tomes were our go-to contacts list. However, in the digital age, the role of phone books has significantly evolved. Their presence has dwindled, surviving as a rare artifact rather than a daily necessity. The convenience of instant information retrieval through smartphones has rendered the hefty phone book almost obsolete. While the tactile experience of leafing through the pages may trigger fond memories, the practicality of using a phone book has diminished. With the power of search engines and mobile devices at our fingertips, the need for a tangible physical directory has waned. Number two, payphones. Remember making phone calls for around 25 cents per call? Those were the days. We'd like the price of a phone call in the 80s with the same technology we use today, please. Although you may still see payphones occasionally, they have been mostly replaced with cell phones. When is the last time you stumbled upon a payphone booth and felt a wave of nostalgia? The evolution of communication technology has been remarkable, transforming the way we connect with each other. In the 1980s, payphones were the go-to for quick calls on the go. You'd insert a quarter, dial the number, and chat away. Fast forward to the present day, and we have smartphones that fit into our pockets, capable of not only making calls, but also performing a myriad of tasks. The convenience of modern communication comes with a hefty price tag, though, as we now pay for data plans and various services. The disappearance of payphones symbolizes more than just a shift in technology. It reflects a societal change in how we communicate and stay connected. In the 80s, payphones were the lifeline for urgent conversations and rendezvous points. Today, our smartphones serve as a portal to the digital world, offering instant messaging, video calls, and social media connections. As we marvel at the progress of technology, it's essential to appreciate the simplicity and charm of those quarter-fueled conversations at payphones. While payphones may have become relics of the past, they play a crucial role in the timeline of communication, reminding us of the strides we've made in the quest for instantaneous connection and accessibility. Number three, magazine posters. Tiger Beat, Bop, and Seventeen, the nostalgic trifecta that not only fueled our obsession with celebrities and gossip, but also adorned our walls with iconic posters. Those glossy pages were more than just snapshots. They were gateways to our favorite star's worlds. As we flipped through the magazines, the toughest decision wasn't whether to read the latest interview or check out the fashion spreads. It was choosing which poster to proudly display in our sanctuaries. These magazines were more than sources of entertainment. They were cultural artifacts, shaping the way we connected with our idols. However, the digital age has ushered in a transformation, altering the landscape of teenage bedrooms everywhere. The rise of online platforms and social media has given fans instant access to their beloved celebrities, rendering the tangible allure of magazine posters somewhat obsolete. While the tradition of plastering walls with posters persists, the sheer quantity has dwindled. The allure of flipping through pages carefully selecting the perfect poster, and the tactile satisfaction of ripping it out are experiences that defined a generation. Today, the digital era offers an abundance of virtual content, leaving us to wonder if future generations will miss the tangible joy of collecting and curating their idol's images on physical walls. As we reminisce about the bygone era of teen magazine posters, it's not just about the images on our walls, but the cultural shift that has occurred the transition from print to digital not only impacted the aesthetics of our personal spaces, but also how we consume and interact with celebrity culture. So, take a moment to reflect on those days of carefully crafting your personal shrine to stardom and wonder if the digital age can ever replicate the charm of a well-curated bedroom 
adorned with tangible memories. How many posters adorned your bedroom walls? And what stories did they tell? Number 4. Waterbeds Waterbeds reached the peak of their popularity in the mid-80s, becoming a ubiquitous bedroom fixture, with one in five people opting for the unique sleeping experience they offered. The undulating sensation and the novelty of having a bed filled with water appealed to many during that era. However, as time progressed, the charm of waterbeds began to wane. Their weight and maintenance requirements became a significant drawback, prompting a shift in consumer preferences. Today, while some enthusiasts still swear by the comfort of waterbeds, a majority of individuals prefer modern alternatives due to their lightweight nature and low maintenance. Advancements in mattress technology have played a crucial role in reshaping the bedding landscape. Contemporary mattresses offer a wide range of options, catering to different comfort preferences without the need for water-filled chambers. The convenience and durability of these new mattresses have overshadowed the once popular waterbeds, making them a nostalgic relic of the 80s. Number 5. Blockbuster and Movie Rentals Streaming services have become an integral part of our entertainment landscape, revolutionizing how we consume content. The convenience of accessing thousands of shows and movies with just a click has reshaped our viewing habits. The rapid pace at which streaming platforms release new content daily keeps audiences engaged and eager for the next big release. As we embrace this digital era of entertainment, it's fascinating to reflect on the decline of once popular brick and mortar video rental stores, exemplified by the demise of Blockbuster. Founded in 1985, Blockbuster was once synonymous with movie nights, offering a vast selection of video home system tapes and DVDs. However, with the advent of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, the traditional video rental model faced obsolescence. In 2014, Blockbuster officially closed its doors, marking the end of an era. The nostalgia associated with browsing through physical movie aisles and the excitement of finding the perfect weekend film slowly gave way to the instant gratification provided by streaming services. The demise of Blockbuster serves as a poignant symbol of how technological advancements can reshape entire industries, emphasizing the importance of adaptability in the face of evolving consumer preferences. Today, the streaming landscape continues to evolve, with the emergence of niche platforms catering to specific genres and interests. From classic films to original series, the plethora of options available reflects the diverse tastes of modern audiences. As we navigate this ever-changing digital frontier, it's clear that the way we consume entertainment has been irrevocably transformed, leaving behind the relics of a bygone era like Blockbuster while opening up new possibilities for immersive and personalized viewing experiences. Number six, watching music videos on MTV. The first MTV music video premiered in 1981, marking a revolutionary era in the world of music and entertainment. If you were among the early viewers, you witnessed the birth of a cultural phenomenon. Back then, MTV wasn't just a channel. It was a gateway to discovering the hottest tunes and trend-setting artists. In an age dominated by reality TV shows and sitcoms, it's easy for today's generation to overlook MTV's original mission, showcasing music videos. Imagine a time when music enthusiasts eagerly tuned in to catch the latest visuals for their favorite songs. Before the era of Spotify and Apple Music, MTV was the go-to platform for music discovery. The significance of MTV's role in shaping musical tastes cannot be overstated. It not only introduced audiences to emerging artists, but also influenced fashion, trends, and even social conversations. The channel became a cultural touchstone, reflecting the pulse of the music industry and youth culture. While the days of MTV exclusively airing music videos are long gone, the impact it had on the music industry and popular culture endures. Today, as you scroll through endless streaming playlists, take a moment to appreciate the bygone era when MTV ruled the airwaves and defined a generation's musical experience. Number seven, Cabbage Patch Dolls. Cabbage Patch Dolls were not just toys. They were a cultural phenomenon that swept through the 80s. Created by Xavier Roberts, these unique dolls with their distinct features and adoption certificates became a must-have for children and collectors alike. The Cabbage Patch Kids craze originated from the concept that each doll was unique and special, just like a real child. 
This individuality added to the allure and created a sense of connection for kids who felt a personal bond with their adopted doll. Beyond their popularity, the dolls also played a role in changing the landscape of toy marketing. The concept of adoption papers and the unique naming process added a layer of personalization that set them apart from other toys of the time. Today, as these dolls find new homes through platforms like Etsy and eBay, the nostalgia factor kicks in for those who experience the craze firsthand. Collectors seek out original dolls still in their packaging as a reminder of the era when Cabbage Patch dolls were the ultimate coveted possession. Number eight, indoor smoking. In many jurisdictions, the 2007 ban on smoking indoors marked a significant turning point in public health policies. The decision to prohibit smoking within enclosed spaces, such as casinos and bowling alleys, was primarily driven by a growing awareness of the severe health risks associated with secondhand smoke exposure. Numerous studies demonstrated a direct link between indoor smoking and respiratory issues, heart disease, and even cancer. As a result, this legislative move not only aimed to protect the well-being of non-smokers, but also contributed to a broader cultural shift towards prioritizing health and wellness. The lingering scent of years of indoor smoking serves as a nostalgic reminder of a bygone era when smoking was socially acceptable in various public settings. Nowadays, the rarity of encountering someone smoking indoors reflects the successful implementation of anti-smoking measures and the changing attitudes towards creating cleaner and healthier environments for everyone. Number nine, shopping malls. In an era dominated by the convenience of online shopping giants like Amazon, where two-day delivery brings everything to your doorstep, the traditional in-person shopping experience is undergoing a significant transformation. The retail landscape is changing rapidly, with fewer than 1,000 malls remaining in the US. The shift towards online shopping has led to the closure of numerous malls, impacting both hometowns and cities. As brick and mortar stores struggle to compete with the ease and efficiency of e-commerce, many have faced closures or a decline in foot traffic. This shift is not just a reflection of changing consumer habits. It's a testament to the evolving nature of the retail industry. Despite the challenges, some individuals still find joy in the nostalgic tradition of a shopping spree within a mall. The allure of physically browsing through stores, trying on clothes, and experiencing the atmosphere of a bustling shopping center remains a unique and cherished aspect of retail therapy for many. Number 10, paper maps. Remember wrestling with a map while trying to pinpoint the next turn you need to make? We can all thank GPS systems in cars and apps that tell us exactly what to do, why it's on the list. There are some people who still prefer to look at a map on paper, but it seems like the younger generations may never know what it's like. With the advent of GPS technology, navigating our way around has become not just easier, but also more efficient. Gone are the days of fumbling with a large paper map that never seemed to fold back neatly. GPS has not only revolutionized the way we travel, but has also become an integral part of various fields. GPS, or Global Positioning System, works by using a network of satellites orbiting Earth to determine the precise location of a device. Originally developed for military purposes, GPS has seamlessly integrated into civilian life, enhancing navigation, logistics, and even everyday activities. It has become a staple in smartphones, smartwatches, and even fitness trackers, providing real-time location data. Beyond navigation, GPS has found applications in agriculture, helping farmers optimize field management and resource allocation. It plays a crucial role in emergency services, allowing faster and more accurate responses to incidents. Additionally, GPS has become indispensable in scientific research, contributing to studies on climate change, geology, and wildlife tracking. 